shall melt with fervent heat. The atoms, the protons, and neutrons going to melt with fervent heat over a million degrees Fahrenheit. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. That's why we're going to create a new heavens and new earth. It's going to be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Dissolved. Everything, close your eyes, open your eyes. Everything you see is going to be dissolved. What matter of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and righteousness instead of about yourself, about ourselves? What holy conversation, holy conversation are you having besides something that's concerning yourself all the time? People they talk about the Bible, they ain't talk about the Most High, they talk about themselves, what it is in their world. But it's about the Most High. He the one going to be all in all. Not Israel, but the Most High said, hey, look, Moses, I'm going to kill all of them. And I'll raise up the Israelites through you. One man. I mean, we come from Shem, Ham, and Japheth. We come from Shem. I mean, all people come from Shem, Ham, and Japheth, Noah's sons. That's three men. So how do we need a lot of people to create all, all the people? Look at all the millions and billions of people that's on the earth. Coming from Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Come on now. You better think about it. Most our ways and thoughts, not our ways and thoughts. Whatever he do is righteous. So he can raise up some stones and be his people. That's real serious now. <laughs> That's why we got an opportunity to get it together. We better try and get it together the best we can. Before it's too late. We got that opportunity, brothers and sisters. says second Peter 3 and 12 looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of the most high the Mashiach of Shai wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat that you know man he come with that fire this time nevertheless we who are operating in the spirit of the Most High, trying our best to keep His commandments. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and new earth. We're looking for new heavens and new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. So I say, coming to judge in righteousness, to bring righteousness on this earth. We know that righteousness is the keeping of the Most High's laws, period. Wherefore, beloved, the only beloved, the most I said in Romans 9, 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. It's only beloved of the most high, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot, without sinning, and blameless, that you may go into the kingdom of the most high, and be blessed. That's what it's all about. No more, no less. Look at Ecclesiasticus, the 32nd chapter. Verse 14. Ecclesiastes 32 and 14. It says, Whoso fears the Most High will receive his discipline. So it's very important. You fear the Most High, you're afraid, you're scared, you respect the Most High, you receive his discipline. That's his orders. His laws, touch commandments. His discipline. And they that seek him early shall find favor. You that seek him now, you're going to find favor. He that seeketh the law shall be filled therewith. You seek the law, the most high, you're going to be filled with the law. But the hypocrite will be offended thereat. The hypocrite, that's why you say we're under the law. A hypocrite, somebody that's not going to follow the ways of the most high, 
talk a good talk, but when it comes down to doing it, they're going to do the laws of the Most High. They're going to be offended thereat. They're going to be defended, offended by you telling them that they got to follow the laws of the Most High. They that fear the Most High shall find judgment and shall kindle justice as a light. The light is letting them know that the law says, thus say the Most High. His rules and regulations. His orders. A sinful man will not be reproved. You can't, you can't reprove a sinful man or a sinful woman. But find an excuse according to his will. Always going to find some excuse according to their will. Handle the Bible says, show me, prove what you're doing is right according to the Most High's word. Can't do it. But they'll find an excuse according to his will, as it says. A man of counsel will be considerate. But a strange and proud man is not daunted with fear. They don't fear the Most High. Proud, proud man, they don't fear the Most High. They don't fear the Most High. Even when of himself he have done without counsel. He haven't went to get counsel. He's doing what he want to do. He's prideful. He's not going to take it. Listen, verse 23. In every good work, trust thy own soul. In every good work, keeping the laws of the Most High. That's what's good. We just read that in Romans 7 and 12. Trust your own spirit. For this is the keeping of the commandments. It's got to be according to the laws of the Most High. He that believeth in the Most High taketh heed to the commandment. So you believe in the Most High, you can take heed to the commandment. And he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. You're going to trust in the Most High, hey, you're going to be all right. Look, Ecclesiastes chapter 33. Verse 1, there shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Most High. You fear the Most High, you're going to keep his commandments. But in temptation, even again, he will deliver him. See that? But in temptation, even again, will he deliver him. That's what the Most High said in Ecclesiastes 2 and 1. When thou come to serve the Most High, prepare thy soul for temptation. But what did Most High say? If you keeping the laws of the Most High, you doing what's right. He said, "Hey." But in temptation, even again, He will deliver him. You gotta have faith to believe it, though. He gonna deliver you. Listen to what it says: A wise man hateth not the law. So you you not wise if you hate the law. A wise man hateth not the law. But a scorner gonna find an excuse according to his will. But a wise man hateth not the law. But he that is an hypocrite, a hypocrite, therein is as a ship in a storm. They waving to and fro. Going up and down, this way, that way, whatever way. You're a hypocrite. A man of understanding trusteth in the law. A man of understanding trusteth in the law. And the law is faithful unto him as an oracle. See, it's very important, people, that we understand this. Look at uh, Ecclesiastes 34 and 8. It says, The law shall be found perfect without lies, and wisdom is, per is perfection to a faithful mouth. See, a man that have traveled know many things, and he that have much experience will declare wisdom. You know, you, you're a man that has traveled a lot, you're going to know many things, because you see different cultures, you see a lot of things that you don't necessarily see within your own bubble, or your own little uh, resting nest, or your comfort zone. You get out and travel, you're going to see many things, you're going to know many things, it says. And he that have much experience will declare wisdom. You have much experience in a lot of different things, you're going to declare wisdom. It's a proper application of knowledge. How to apply knowledge in your life. It says, listen, he that have no experience knoweth little. You have no experience, you're just living in the same bubble. You don't have much experience. You can't talk about much because you don't have that much of an experience. And this and that and so forth. But he that have travel is full of pudence. See? Full of wisdom. 
Look at uh Look at verse 13. The spirit of those that fear the most high shall live. For their hope is in him that saveth them. Hear that? The spirit of those that fear the most high shall live. The spirit of the most high that's in us going to live. For their hope is in him. Our hope, our faith is in the most high that saveth them. That's going to save us. The only one going to save us. Whoso fear the most high shall not fear nor be afraid. For he is his hope. See? We ain't got to fear. Nothing because the most high. Listen to what I'm saying. Whoso fear the most high shall not fear nor be afraid. For he is his hope. So I tell you that. We tell you. We have no reason to be fearing. We got to fear the most high. You're hearing that over and over again. That's why I'm bringing it on home. Because we got to fear the most high. Fear the most high is the beginning, the beginning of knowledge. If you don't fear the most high, then what knowledge do you really have? Second, Second Timothy 1 and 7. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For the most I have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, that power is spiritual power, and of love, that love is keeping up the commandments of the most high, and of a sound mind. And when you do that, you have that spiritual power by keeping the commandments of the most high, by Shama Mashiach Yahushai, you have a sound mind, you can have a sound mind. Understand this. Understand this. Look at uh, Ecclesiasticus 34, verse 14. Whoso feareth the Most High shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. Most High's our hope. Blessed is the soul or the spirit of him that feareth the Most High. To whom does he look? And who is his strength? We know who the strength is. For the eyes of the Most High are upon them that love him. The eyes of the Most High are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. And his eyes are upon those that love him. You can't say you love him if you ain't keeping his commandments. Love him. First John 5 and 3. But this is the love of the Most High that we keep his commandments. His commandments are not grievous. For the eyes of the Most High, verse 16, are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong state. See, that's why I say don't give you the spirit of fear. Because we're dealing with the Most High. He said he is their mighty protection and strong state. A defense from heat and a cover from the sun at noon. A preservation from stumbling and a help from falling. He raises up the soul and light of the eyes, he giveth help, light, and blessings. Hmm. Beautiful. That's our power. Ecclesiasticus 27 and 3. Ecclesiasticus 27 and 3. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Most High, his house shall soon be overthrown. If you don't hold yourself diligently in the fear of the Most High, his house will be soon overthrown. That's why you got to watch what you're doing. You got to have this discipline to be able to fear the Most High so that you'll be our protection in these last days. It's very, very important. It's so important, it's, it's scary. But we know that He is the power. Look at uh, 1 Peter 5 and 6. First Peter 5 and 6. Humble yourselves. Say, humble yourselves. 
be humble is opposite of being prideful. He said, humble yourselves. Therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that He may exalt you in due time. The Most High looked up. That's why you got to have humility that the Most High can exalt us in due time. Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. This is serious, people. Be careful of us. Cast all our cares upon him. Because he care for us. The children of Israel. But we got to have humility. Broken and contrite spirit before him. Crying and weeping to the Most High. And fasting. Because fasting gets rid of a multitude of spirits. Straight up. And we around him. They around us. They got this their last shot. Therefore, that's what he's saying, humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. Man trying to be somebody in hell, saying where it's at. It's not where it's at, y'all. Look, <laughs> right to it. St. John 12 and 32, talk to me. St. John 12 and 32. I just turned the page, want to go there, thinking about it, there it is. And I, this is my shake of a shot, he said, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, he be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. We got to be drawn unto Mashiach. Why? 1 Corinthians 3.23. And ye are the Messiahs, the anointers, Mashiach Yom. Yom is plural, masculine plural, for Mashiach Yom. Mashiach Yom. We are the anointers. We are the Messiahs. And Mashiach is the Most High. That's why he said, no man come to the Father but by me. You ask anything in my name, in the name of the anointed Savior. I would do it that the Father can be glorified in the Son. You ask anything in my name, I would do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. There it is. We Mashiach. You. We belong to Mashiach. Mashiach is the most high. Romans 14 and 8. For whether we live, and we living. You hear my voice, you living, you alive. But whether we live, we live unto a Mashiach Yahweh shot. And whether we die, we die unto a Mashiach Yahweh shot. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are a Mashiach Yahweh. Still, you get away from him. Whether we live or die, we are a Mashiach Yahweh. Because the Most High has did this. I mean, the Most High has set this up. Whether you want to believe it or not, whether you want to adhere to it or not, he set it up. So that when that judgment comes, then you either gonna be going into eternal life or you're gonna be cast into the lake of fire. Point blank. That's what we're looking at. No more, no less. Look at uh. St. John 5 and 22. He said, if I be lifted on the earth, we got to deal with that. Go to Acts 1 and 9 first. I will draw all men unto me. So I say, humble yourself. Yasharala, got to humble yourself. Too much arrogance. Ain't no humble humility. Before the Most High, the Most High eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. He said, if I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me, right? Look at this, Acts 1 and 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. 
So he was lifted up from the earth. And a cloud, which is a chariot, a vehicle on the most side, an IFO to identify a flying object, which they call flying saucers. A cloud received him out of their sight. So he was lifted from the earth. And so when he lift up the earth, he told them in verse 8, but ye shall receive power. That's spiritual power. When? After that, the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and unto the utmost parts of the earth. So once that spiritual power came upon them, once they received the Holy Spirit in Acts the second chapter, he told them, they're going to be witnesses of a Mashiach in those different, those different lands. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, they, they beheld looking at him, he was taken up. In a cloud, which is a chariot of the Most High, when you read Psalms 104 and 3, received him out of their sight. So he was lifted up from the earth. Now, he told us, while he was here in the flesh, he told us in John 5 and 22. For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. That's like the Most High owns the company. He said, look, son, you run it until I put all your enemies under your footstool. A thousand years, once you come to judge and make war and bring righteousness on this earth, a thousand years to bring righteousness on the earth to bring all these nations in order. And we learning of the Most High perfectly. So the, we know in part and prophesy in part, that part going to be taken away. We're going to have the whole part of knowing the Most High. His ways and thoughts. We're going to know him. Amashiach Roshach is going to come and show us up. The Father. And then Amashiach Roshach is going to be subject to the Most High. And the Most High going to be all in all. Forever and ever and ever. And those are those that's going to be in eternal life. Ain't going to be no death. Say. St. John 5.22. For the Father judges no man. But have committed all judgment unto the Son. That all men should honor the Son. Even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son. Honoreth not the Father. Which hath sent him. See, so the Most High has given him the ability to bring forth the judgment. That's why you go to Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High. Here it is again. Fear the Most High. We went through the fear of the Most High a lot. We can continue going on that. But fear the Most High. And the fear of the Most High is not some other explanation. What does fear mean? To be afraid. To be scared. To highly respect the Most High. And do what? And keep His commandments. Keep his commandments, which is his laws, people. Which is from Genesis to Deuteronomy. In all the places that he give understanding of how we got to be righteous in the eyes of the Most High. And how not to be wicked, as he give examples, to be evil and wicked and committing abominations before the Most High. All throughout the Bible. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments. But this is the whole duty of man. For the Most High, through Mashiach Abishai, shall bring every work into judgment. He just told you, Most High didn't gave the judgment to a Mashiach Abishai. With every secret thing. So ain't nothing that you do in a secret that the eyes of the Most High, which are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of man. You're going to bring into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good. We know it's good. We done read Romans 7 and 12. The law is holy. The commandment is holy and just and good. And the Most High is good, first and foremost. And His commandments and His laws are good. For the Most High, while Mashiach Yavashai shall bring every work into judgment. Because the Mashiach Yavashai is judging, but He judges it according to the law of the Most High. The rules and regulations of the Most High. But the Most High and the Mashiach Yahweh Shai shall bring every work into judgment. 
with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil, right? So, whether you've been righteous or whether you've been wicked. So, when we look at uh, 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, and the 10th verse, it says, For we must all, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach, because the Most High has given him the power to judge everyone. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. And we just read in Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, the 14th verse. According to that he have done, and even the secret thing is going to be judged, whether it be good or bad. Whether it be good or bad. What's good? We know good is keeping up the Most High's laws and commandments. Bad or evil is not doing it. Not keeping his rules and regulations, his laws, statutes, and commandments. See, knowing therefore the terror of Most High through a Mashiach that was shy, when he come to judge and make war, we persuade men, we're trying to persuade you. But we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness, hopefully, your faith that you have in the Most High, hopefully you'll be in your mind. That's your conscience, where you think. You'll try to do better and better and better. Fulfill verse 17. Therefore, if any man be, you rolling by Hashama, Mashiach, Yahushua, you and rolling in the name of the Lord and Savior, he is a new creature. Gotta become a new creature. Old things are passed away. The old man is gone. Finish. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. See, we gotta change. That's with Romans 12 and 2. Gotta change. Old things gotta leave you. People gotta see a different you. From the new, from the, the way they knew you before. He says, and be not conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of what? Of your mind, the way you think. The scripture going to make you think different. Renewing of your mind according to, thus say the most high's word. That ye may prove what that is, that good. Prove what is that good. Prove what is that good. Over and over again, you keep hearing it. Romans 7 and 12. For the law is holy, and the commandment is holy, and just and good. The commandments and the laws of the Most High is just and good. That's what that good is. Keeping the commandments of the Most High. Keeping the laws of the Most High. That's what I say. And be not conformed to this world. Don't be conformed to the world. The world is set up to send you straight to hell. Hell fire. The lake of fire. Where the worms never die and the fires never quench. Listen. See, a lot of people don't believe that. Look, even in the kingdom. Let me show you. Because they say you're going to be burning. People are going to be burning. Go to the last verse of Isaiah. The last thing he left us with. A lot of y'all don't like to hear that hellfire preaching. But let me let, let you know and see the last thing Isaiah told us. One of the main prophets of Mashiach Yahushua was on the earth. Went to look at verse 24 of Isaiah the 66 chapter. Isaiah 66, 24. This is in the kingdom, y'all. When the Most High created a new heavens and a new earth, and we in it. The Most High will. And we worthy to be in it. He says, and they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. The men that have sinned against the Most High, for their worm shall not die. I mean, they're going to be eaten up continually with a spiritual body that the Most High going to put on us. That the worm's going to be eating them up 
continually. Their worms shall not die. Neither shall their fire be quenched. So that fire is not going to kill this worm that the most are going to put on the body to be eating you up continually, continually, continually. It shall not burn. Let's hear what it says. And they shall go forth, those that make it to the kingdom. We have a good time celebrating holy days and new moons and so forth and Sabbaths and they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses, that's the dead bodies of the men that have transgressed against me well the carcasses are dead bodies but they're going to be alive because it says for their worms shall not die neither shall their fire be quenched and they shall be an whoring unto all flesh, I hate this that's why you go back to Romans 12 and two, he said, be not conformed to this world. The world is set up to send you straight to hell to get those worms that never die and that fire that's never quenched in the lake of fire. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind the way you think to become that new creature that we just read about, that new man. Be born again. According to the word of the Most High and truth and righteousness, and not according to whatever it is that you think or how you feel, your emotions and so forth. A lot of people would put the devil because they all emotional, technical and so forth. That's why he said, "Be not conformed to this world. This world will have you all prideful. Your feelings hurt so easily. But be you transformed by the renewing of your mind, the way you think." That you may prove that what that is that good. We know that good is what? Keeping the commandments of the most high. An acceptable and perfect will of the most high. That's what we gotta do, people. So with that, I regress. And I hope that this was edifying to the body of Mashiach Kelvishai. If you like more information, you can reach me, Priest the Awam, at P.O. Box 20012. If you'd like to send donations, you can send donations to P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801-3012. Or I'll have a PayPal. It's paypal.me forward slash shield of wisdom. That's paypal.me forward slash shield of wisdom. And I hope you will continue to keep the laws of the Most High and don't be led astray by the ways of the world that set up and send you straight to hell in the lake of fire with it. And with that, I say Shalom and I'm out.